Hey, Lobster Gamer here. Welcome back to Amazon Trail 3rd Edition. Let's talk to this lady. Hello. It is surprising to see another stranger. Another? Who are you? I am a Takuna. I don't have a name. What's with you people not having names? Tell me about the other woman. She says her name is Isabel Godin. Oh, she's a stranger. How'd you meet her? It is most unusual. Two days ago, I was standing by the river. This white woman came out of the forest. She could barely walk. She had no clothes. At first, I could not believe my eyes. What have you learned about her? After she rested a while, I was able to speak with her. Luckily, she speaks Quechua, the language of the Incas. I know the language from trading with them. She said that she must go to a place called Para. I don't know where that is. Perhaps you can help her. I will try. Can I trade? Of course. Trading is good. Here is what I have. No, I'm not trading with you. Where are we? We are at the tail of the river that outsiders call the Marañón. How do I go up river? If you want to go up the Marañón, you must follow the setting sun. But that leads to the land of the Shuar. You probably want to go south. I want to go to Bill I want to go to Bamba. I don't know that place. I don't want to go to the land of the Shuar for whatever reason. What is today's date? Today is the second day since I found this white woman. Oh, you measure time and days since you found this white woman. So, like, before that it was like... 58 days until I meet the white woman. The rainforest is our home. An old, old story says the first person called the people to come out of the underworld into a great river. He was standing in a great canoe saying, Come, come, let's go. But the canoe was really the body of the giant anaconda. The anaconda canoe brought us to our home. The river is a snake stretching out over the land. The ripples of the snake's muscles are rapids and falls. There is a dark power in rivers. <laughs> okay, I like your story of the Amazon way better than any of the other ones I've ever heard. The canoe is a giant anaconda. Well, goodbye. I will try to help this white woman. Oh, hello. It is nice to see another living person. Who are you? I am Isabel Godin, daughter of a great general and wife of French explorer Jean Godin. I am trying to reach my husband. How'd you get here? A few weeks ago, I left my home in Rio Bamba, on the other side of the Andes Mountains. I set out with 31 servants and nine other travelers including my two brothers and a nephew. So what happened? We reached a small village where we thought we could hire some canoes. But there had been an outbreak of smallpox. The village was deserted. All of my servants were frightened and ran off into the jungle. Smallpox we is a harsh mistress. What did you do next? I can't remember. All I know is that one day I woke up and everyone in my party was dead. My two brothers, my young nephew, everyone. It, I, I just began wandering around. I was lost for several days. Luckily, this dear American rescued me. Oh, well, she's an American. Well, that's good. I thought she was some sort of crazy native Chinese person. I see. Tell me more about your husband. We had decided to return to his home in France. Our plan was to cross the Andes and descend the Amazon River. It was a bad idea. He set out by himself to make sure the route was safe for me to travel. That was 20 years ago. I have not heard from him since. Why did you finally decide to go looking for him? It sounds more like he left you for the Amazon. I heard a rumor that he is waiting for me somewhere downriver near a town called Para. I don't know how to get Probably there. I'm waiting for you with his mistress to tell you he's breaking up with you. I'm sorry. Do you want to trade? 
I'm sorry. I have lost everything. But if you have anything that would help me find Para, I would be most appreciative. Here, take this map and remember that everything on this map belongs to Portugal, including the cinnamon. Please, take this gold chain as a token of my gratitude. Yeah, I give you nothing for nothing. You're welcome. Thanks for the information. Where are we? The American says we are near the mouth of the Marignon River. How do I go upriver? Upriver? If you're trying to get to Riobamba or Quito, you follow the Marignon to the Pastaza. I'm trying to get to Vilcabamba. Oh, I don't know of any place by that name. What's with you people not knowing where Vilcabamba is? What's today's date? It must be sometime in November. 1769. Okay, this is way earlier than I thought it was. The rainforest is bewildering and monotonous. Getting lost in it, one has the feeling of moving in circles, seeing the same thing day after day. Somehow, God has preserved me amidst the perils in which all my companions have perished. No, you are a zombie, and you killed all your companions. You had that whole, like, oh, I woke up with no memory, and everybody was dead thing going on. You obviously killed them. You are a monster, and I am leaving you. Goodbye. You have done well. Now Mrs. Godan will find her husband. I will add her necklace. To my shield. Oh, you know the future now. She finds her husband. Probably murders him too. Crazy zombie what a smallpox lady. Shouldn't have given her that map. I feel like a terrible person. I have to go south. I'm not going up that other river. No. I'm gonna go fishing. You go fishing. I might take a nap. You take a nap. I'll go fishing. Ah! Yeah, there's no fish here. How about the rainforest? Yeah, there's these. Cashews. Also this. Yeah. There. We got some food. Yeah, I know I could be rude. You know, what are we at right now? We got, we got enough food probably to get all the way to Vilcabamba. One more stop and then Vilcabamba. I helped the crazy zombie lady. I feel like a terrible person for doing so. She's probably going to go to Para and kill everybody in sight. Southwest. I love this music though. Just jam out to this all day. I tell you, the people that we meet in this world. She's obviously an evil zombie. Who does that? Who wakes up and everyone is gone? I play too many horror games. I actually thought the river would get harder to navigate, but it hasn't. It's gotten easier. Let's go. 16, 17, 16, 17, 81. What's going to be our destination? Oh, hey, it's a city. That's not what I expected to have last. We got the businessman and the Indian. Waponi, good life. I am Amo. I am Waroni. We are the bravest people in the Amazon. That's a tall, that's a tall claim. What are you doing here? I am representing my people in a meeting with the company. The company wants to build a new road and drill for oil on our land. We have told the company to get out. 
but nobody seems to understand. Anybody who's watched Prison Break will know that the company is bad news. What do you mean, the company? The company is all the people who want to take our land for oil. The company is also all the people who say they speak for the war army, but who have never bothered to learn what we want. The company is evil. Have you told the, why have you told the company to get out? Well, it's obvious. Right now, there's no control. The company is destroying the forest, and no one is watching. We want the company to come up with a plan to limit damage in the future. That is fair. Tell me more. We know that things are changing. We want education for our children, in Spanish and in our language. We want some of our people to be trained in healthcare. We want a moratorium on oil development for 10 years. You have some steep demands, my friend. Does oil drilling hurt the rainforest? There are open pits right next to our streams and rivers. There is oil in them and other poisons. When it rains, the poisons flow into our water. Fish die and our people get sick. Wow, tell me more. There is already one road for oil going through our land. If the company builds another, there will be more contamination and more outsiders moving in. If we do not stop the company, the Warani will disappear forever. We need to stop the company now. I'll, I'll go to your prison and break out, and then we'll stop the company. All right. What are you doing here? I am representing my people in the media. Thanks for the information. Where are we? This is Pucalpa, in the nation of Peru. How do I go up river? The river flows from the south. That is all I know. I will do that. Where are you from? My land is in the Amazon rainforest, east of Ecuador, in a region outsiders call the Oriente. A scientist from the United States of North America told me that 5% of all the world's plants and animals live in the Oriente. It was probably that crazy spruce guy, or his descendants. Tell me more. My ancestors lived well. But the company, the tourists, and the colonists are invading our land. Those darn tourists! The Warani will fight against the destruction of our forest. I will fight with you, my Warani friend. You want to trade? Yes, I have some special things that will help you remember the Warani. I will give you my trading packets. I will give you three of them. Yes, that is a good trade. I'm done. I'm a jaguar too. Goodbye, my friend. Let's talk to the man from the company. Well, howdy. Pleased to meet you. You sound like somebody from Oregon Trail. How, who are you? Everybody just calls me Tex. What are you doing here, Tex? I'm a lawyer for the Ecuadorian Intercompany Exporters and Importers of Oil. That's a real mouthful. We just call ourselves E-I-E-I-O. I'm here for a big meeting. Old McDonald had some oil, E-I-E-I-O. Well, we're going to be developing we're going to be some oil wells in the Oriente Rainforest. That's in Ecuador. We're meeting with some of the Indians who live there. Like that Warani over there. Why are you meeting with them? That's a good question. We don't have to negotiate with the Indians. Technically speaking, the land is theirs. But we bought all the mineral rights from the government of Ecuador. We just want to be good neighbors. Mighty kindly of you. What's the meeting about? Well, we're going to be develop we're developing some oil wells in the or I already talked about Is there a lot of oil in the Amazon? You bet your life there is. Why, in this Maybe one little section dollars. we're fixing to drill, there's enough oil to supply the needs of the entire United States of America for three weeks. The entire United States of America, I see. Well, we'll find out more about how he's going to destroy the rainforest and help the United States of America next time on Let's Play Amazon Trail 3.